All right, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. And today we're gonna to be talking about asteroids because what other existential threat to humanity and basically all of life on Earth would we wanna talk about, right? Nuclear weapons, that's not as fun. Global warfare, a global pandemic, that, that's no fun. Let's talk about the world literally getting exploded by a space missile, right? So there's been a lot of talk recently of an asteroid that is going to make a pretty close approach to Earth here in the next few days. People are really freaking out about it. It. And you know, I've had people even request specifically that I make a video talking about this because, of course, the news and all these different outlets and whatnot have completely overhyped what's happening. Because what else do you do when you want to get clicks and everything going on? You got people out here freaking out, thinking that an asteroid's about to smash into the earth at Mach 700 or something and basically blow all life out into the fucking cosmos. And honestly, you can't really blame the people for being worried about these types of things because obviously that is a pretty major threat to life. I mean, if the right sized asteroid hit the Earth at any moment, we could basically just be wiped off the face of the planet within a matter of seconds. This is a true fact, and it is something that is actually such a concern to humanity that basically all of the space agencies across the planet actually monitor close asteroids and have even worked out their paths that they'll take for the next few hundred years to try and figure out when and where they'll actually be if any of them are slated to basically hit the Earth. That way we basically have some sort of future warning or future forenotice that something like this is actually going to happen, right? But, well, now, with that happening, with this asteroid making a close approach to Earth in the next few days, the media has run completely wild with the story, has freaked everybody out, and now people are wondering if we're going to get hit by an asteroid in a couple of days. So I'm here to clear the air a little bit and talk about this whole situation, kind of talk about what the media is doing, why it's freaking people out, and kind of get down to the truth of this situation so that maybe I can ease your mind a little bit because all of the talk that you've been hearing in the media about this near-Earth asteroid and everything and about this potential collision and how close it's going to come to the earth is basically just a bunch of clickbait and it's being done in order to specifically freak people out so that they can have the most viral article possible. Everyone already knows that this meet not meteor, but this asteroid isn't going to hit the earth. Okay. It's already been confirmed. NASA and all the other smart people have already gotten in on this and they've already figured it out. The asteroid is officially named. They know exactly how close it'll be to the earth at its closest point. They have everything worked out about this, but yet you may see articles talking about things like, Oh, asteroid coming straight for earth watch out we need to be careful we got an asteroid on the way and then of course when they show you the pictures of what's going on or like the thumbnail or whatever it's always just a picture of like the planet getting fucking exploded by a rock the size of jupiter you would think the dinosaurs were going extinct all over again from the size of the asteroid hitting the planet Earth is braced for a close brush with a massive asteroid bigger than the Empire State Building in a matter of days. NASA has been keeping an eye on the rock and has revealed it'll be a quote close approach in space terms. Thankfully, it will still be well over 3.5 million miles away, so there's nothing to panic about. Experts believe the asteroid is somewhere between 240 and 535 yards wide. At the maximum possible length, that would make it bigger than the Empire State Building, the Shard, and the Eiffel Tower. It would dwarf the Statue of Liberty too. The space rock officially officially known as 388949-2008-TZ3, is expected to make its closest approach on Sunday, May 15th. But this isn't the first time we've seen this asteroid, it's actually passed us before with no problem. So yes, first and foremost, this asteroid is not really in danger of hitting the Earth, it is definitely far enough away that we don't have to worry about it. You know, if there was really concern that this asteroid was going to hit the Earth, we would have an all-hands-on-deck situation from the federal government, probably all federal governments on Earth, Earth, every space agency, militaries, pretty much anybody, right? And of course, we haven't seen that situation because the truth is, this really isn't as important as a lot of these mainstream outlets might make it out to be. And this happens every single time something like this goes down. Anytime that there's any potential asteroid that even fucking remotely passes through the same area of space as Earth, the press runs wild with it and they scare the shit out of the general public and have everybody freaking out that we're going to be killed. But as we just read, it's not even going to be the first time that this has passed us with no problem and they already know that it'll be three and a half million miles away. To put that into perspective, if you were to go pole to pole on planet Earth, that's only 24,860 miles, okay? To literally basically cross the entire planet. Yet this asteroid is going to be well over three and a half million miles away. So in terms of space, yeah, it's a close approach because you got to think everything else in space is tens of millions of miles away. But yet when it comes to actual distance, 
distance, it really isn't that close. And I don't know if this is something that people have also picked up on, but every single time there's any sort of like asteroid situation or they're talking about, oh, you know, an asteroid's gonna make a close approach to Earth, you know, oh, oh my God, we're all gonna die. They always compare it using the weirdest terms possible, you know? You never get like, a, oh, it's a mile wide or, you know, it's it, it's 500 yards wide. You never get that answer. It's always, it, it would be bigger than the Empire State Building. It, you know, it'd be bigger than the Eiffel Tower or something stupid like that. Like these terms of comparison do not make sense because yeah, it, it's completely set up to basically freak you the fuck out. Everything about these situations when it's reported on is set up to freak you the fuck out. To the normal person, yeah, the Statue of Liberty is gonna look giant because it's multiple times bigger than you are, but in the grand scheme of things, the Statue of Liberty is a pissant in comparison to literally anything in the universe. An asteroid the size of the Empire State Building is virtually insignificant, especially if it's not gonna hit the Earth. I mean, if an asteroid like this were to hit the Earth, it could definitely cause some damage and it could be a problem and whatnot, but the fact of the matter is, it's not gonna hit the Earth. Do you really think the folks at NASA haven't figured this all out? Obviously, these people are way smarter than the rest of us, and even they've already, like, determined that we're not really at risk of any known asteroid hitting the Earth for a long fucking time. Yet, when you read these articles from all these news outlets, every time there's an asteroid within spitting distance of planet Earth, you know, they make it out like it's just a super common thing for asteroids to smash the Earth. I read somewhere that the average, like, asteroid impact on Earth is every 20 million years, okay? So, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and assume that that probably will not happen in any of our lifetimes. But yet, you know, people get everybody all freaked the fuck out and you got the general public worrying about something that literally is not really gonna pose a threat to us at all. You're literally probably more likely to die from inhaling your own farts too much than you are to die from an asteroid hitting you. But yet, once again, whenever any time that an asteroid comes within like 700 million miles of the planet you got every news outlet in the world freaking out you know posting these ridiculous at like artistic pictures of an asteroid like this is the picture that the new york post put on their article talking about this situation they clickbaited a lot less when it came down to it they actually like you know it kind of gave you the odds of this happening and everything they didn't make it like all about oh we're gonna die but then in the picture of course you got an asteroid the size of the fucking moon coming straight at earth about to just completely obliterate arizona because of course that's what sells that's what cl gets clicks and stuff like that it, it is kind of scummy at the end of the day because these articles freak people the fuck out right and you got people generally worried that they're gonna die because of some space rock crushing everything and that's not even remotely close to what's happening now keep in mind there is always the threat that an asteroid could slip the cracks undetected and hit the earth but every single day space agencies and scientists around the world discover new asteroids and discover their flight paths and figure out their orbit Orbits, figure out where they're gonna be when they, they figure this all out for us mathematically so there is a chance that if there is ever an asteroid or anything that could legitimately cause an impact to the earth and actually threaten life as we know it we would potentially know about it even decades in advance which would give us time as a species to come up with a legitimate plan to try and take this asteroid on in fact I also recently read somewhere that NASA is eventually planning to fly something into an asteroid to test the abilities of humans to actually destroy like the path of asteroids in case we ever do have a situation where we have a run-in with an asteroid to see if we could actually deter it from hitting earth at the end of the day worrying about this kind of shit makes no sense because number one why worry about it if it's gonna happen it's gonna happen you're not stopping a fucking space rock the size of you know several city blocks so why sit around and worry and, and put that anxiety and that stress on your own back why, why let these news agencies win? Go get yourself a fucking water bottle and play some Minecraft or something, bro. You know, like, quit stressing about this stuff just because the media tells you to. At the end of the day, it's nothing you can avoid even if it were to happen, and the chances of it happening are so fucking slim that you're literally worrying about nothing at this point. So with that being said, of course, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're brand new around here on the channel, follow me over on Twitter and Twitch at Subdoptimus. Make sure to check out Shoptimus down below. And until my next video, guys, this is Optimus, well, not worried about this asteroid and signing out.